Hi everyone, FT here and welcome to the British 2003 24-hour ration. Hi everyone, FT here and welcome back. This is my 2003, making it 15 year old, British 24-hour ration. We've had breakfast, this is now lunch. This is what I'm having for lunch. I'm having a meatballs and this is uh, 19th of the 2nd 2003. So let's get this on the boil. The way I heat these up at home is basically just fill a pan of boiling water on the hob and dunk this in it and let it boil away for 10 minutes. I might do this a little bit longer to make sure it's piping hot because of its age. Okay, so I've got that boiling away. Give it about 15 minutes. While that's heating up, let's take a look what we've got here. So I've dug out this orange drink powder. You can see March 2003. It feels as though air or moisture's got to it, but we'll still give it a go. I will be preparing this in a jug because it makes up to one litre of orange drink. Let's get that going. So here's the jug. And in case this is gone, we'll know when we put it in there. I've got some hot water. I might make a syrup first. This is feeling pretty poor. Can't see any tear notches on these packets. It's not too bad, you know. It's, it's, I think it's just compressed a lot over the years. It's not sticky or anything. So I think we might get away with it. But just in case, I'm going to put a bit of hot water in there. We'll need to get that on a flat surface. And this will take up to one litre. But let's just put some hot water in first. Oh, look at that. No problem at all. Instantly dissolved with that hot water. Little trick if you didn't know it, if you've got some powdered drink that's gone a bit off, use hot water to make a syrup to start with, then add your cold. You'll have no trouble mixing it up. So I've actually added 800 millilitres rather than make it up to the full one litre. And keeping it that little bit short should ensure that it doesn't taste too diluted. Now I'm going to add that to a canteen and I'm going to use my Yugoslavian one and I'll probably have to do that off camera. So I'm going to put that into here. Okay, so I've decided to go up market a bit with the tissues and I'll be using these ones, not toilet roll, <laughs> for lunch. These ones come out of my Spanish uh, single meal rations. As you can see these are April 2003. I decided to use both of them to see if I can get any additional flavour because that last tea was a little bland. Not brilliant, still a bit lumpy. See what that gives us. And I had one biscuit brown left over from breakfast. Let's try this tea. It's still a bit hot. That's better. It's got more flavour to it. Much stronger tea. So I think uh, the creamer in that second one I put in there might have gone off a little bit. Mm, try the orange. Nice orange colour. <laughs> mm. That is fantastic. Oh, it's got a bit of a 
tang to it. It's like one of those fizzy sweets that kids have, those uh, bitter sweets. It's got a bitterness and a tang to it. It's really nice. Mmm. Yeah. That I like. Okay, so I've got two of these Yorkies. It's not for civvies. They're pretty awesome. Uh, I will be keeping one, but I will definitely be consuming one. <laughs> so let's just see what state this chocolate is in. Bear in mind, it was a 2003. Oh, I don't believe this. Wow, look at that chocolate. There's not a bloom to be seen. 15 years in that ration pack. And it's got the chocolate shine on it still. <laughs> this is great. What a ration. Mmm, chocolate. You can smell it. Wow. Shall we? Yes, let's. Mmm. Soft, milky, creamy chocolate from 2003, as good as the day it was made. Absolutely fantastic. This ration just keeps on giving. Let's hope the meatballs are good as well. Let's go get them. Wow, this is hot straight out of the boiling water pan. Fingers crossed, let's move that chocolate in case heat transfers. Smells delicious. Let's see what we've got. Oh, meatballs and pasta. Didn't mention the pasta on the packet. Oh, smells delicious. Okay, let's not mess around. Let's get into this. Let's try everything all at once without messing around. So I've got some shell pasta. A meatball and some sauce. 15 years old, 2003, British Army. Let's see what this is like. Mmm! Oh goodness, it's a spicy meatball! It's awesome! It's got a bit of spice in there, gives it a little bit of a kick. It doesn't need any salt or pepper. Mmm! Wow! Let's see what these look like cross-section of the meatball. Mm. Still very hot. Meatball is quite firm, got a nice chew to it, got a peppery hot sauce bite. That is good. Mm. Just look at these. Pasta shells. Sauce is delicious. It's not a tomato sauce, it's a bolognese sauce. Mm. Wow, nice and thick. If I was a soldier out in the field in 2003 and I had to break into this ration pack, I'd be a happy man. Mmm. Mmm. Ten out of ten for that, and I know it's an old cliche, but they certainly don't make them how they used to. This is so full of flavour. Ah, oh, wow. So far, the only disappointment with this British ration is the fact the tea was a bit bland and once I've eaten it, I can't have it again. <laughs> yeah, it's much better tea with two of those in there. And this orange, well, I could sit here just drinking a whole litre of it. But I'm not going to, I'm going to call it quits after that one. 
And I'll do the same with this chocolate because I'm not going to use both bars, so I'll eat that and I'll put these away for dinner. I'll take a quick look at these biscuits fruit because they're going to be my dessert. Mm. Oh yeah, they're nice. Mm, it's like fruit cake. See the bits of fruit in there? They've got a cinnamon type flavour. A bit like Christmas cake. I do dunk my biscuits in tea. Mm. Sweet cinnamon fruity biscuit. Nice and firm, crunchy, not too crunchy, nice snap, and very dunkable. Mm. But I'm getting ahead of myself and talking with my mouth full, I apologise. I'm going to get stuck into these meatballs, use the last of the biscuit brown while I eat them. Zing to it. Finish this tea off. Mm. And now, unfortunately, I have to finish my delicious meatballs off. I won't have any more. What can I say? Absolutely superb for a ration. Couldn't have asked for better. Wow. So, I'm just going to eat a couple of these biscuits. You don't need to see me do that. They're lovely fruit cinnamon biscuits. I'm going to finish this chocolate off as well. Mm. Creamy, milky, yorky chocolate from the good old days. Now I've got this gun. It's a bit squished. I'm not 100% sure actually that this came from this ration pack. I think this is from an MRE pack and it just got dropped in there by mistake because there's some of this in there so I'm going to be using this two white briquettes mm -hmm. a bit hard now that, that gun wasn't actually in that box it was on the shelf where I store the box and I think I might have opened it previously taken it out and used it and this when I opened an MRE this was just dropped in there these sweets are fantastic rock hard uh, because I had more cherry and limes I'm gonna have these two now in fact I shouldn't have eaten the gum first so I will probably extract the gum put it to one side and have these have a few more biscuits save some for Dinner, and it was absolutely fantastic. I cannot overemphasize how delicious that pasta and meatballs was. Oh, God, I wish I had it again. Never mind. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. Please come and join me for dinner. We've got lamb stew followed by Christmas pudding and custard. Way. And just as a starter, we've got a soup, chicken soup as well. So please come and join me, stay safe, cheers, zing, oh, awesome, absolutely fantastic.